Glad to be here. I'm a recovering extrovert. <laughs> That's when you think you're a people person, and then you realize you have a drinking problem. <laughs> Now. It's easy to just get a cat, you know? <laughs> I, uh, I'm pretty good at entertaining myself, so it's not a big deal. Like, uh, my glasses, for example. People hate being blind, but I love it. Because whenever I take these off, I'm in a watercolor painting. <laughs> it's wonderful. Look at you, right, gentlemen? Oh, Monet. <laughs> Go to the park, right? Have a wonderful time. See a bum jerking off. I'm like, oh yeah, and then I remember to take these off. Van Gogh. Van Then you just walk away. Away, not towards, because then that's a Jackson Pollock. <laughs> yeah, man, I used to party. It was fun. It was a good time. I, don't, I have no regrets. Back then, my favorite drink was this uh, beer called Bigfoot Beer. You guys ever heard of that? Yeah. Oh my god, you're the first person that has said yes. <laughs> I've asked people about this beer. Uh, no, you're the first one. I think we're just, I don't know. California beer. California beer, is it? Because two Senegalese guys sold it to me for a dollar in New York. So. <laughs> and it tasted like shampoo, which is interesting. How do I know how shampoo tastes like? Like I said, I used to party. <laughs> Most people don't even believe it exists. I just get reports of sightings in the Northeast in Canada. <laughs> I am working out now. That's how I compensate or, you know, have a new obsession. So it's pretty simple. You know, you go to the gym, you pick up a heavy thing, you do reps, you leave. I hate it. I really hate it. It's not fun. I started calling them rapes instead of rest. That's not what I mean. <laughs> it's like I'm doing my body, you know? It's the worst thing in the world, okay? Because I'm trying to do this, and my body's like, no, please, I'm uncomfortable. Please, I don't know about this. <laughs> and, and I'm over there in the gym just yelling at myself, like, shut up, you stupid fat bitch. <laughs> you know you want it. <laughs> It's awful. I gotta go to the mirror afterwards in the bathroom and just look at myself. I'm like, if you tell anybody about this, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, uh, I didn't have my first orgasm until I was 26. That was the thing. And eyebrow raised to the roof there. <laughs> Technically, it was 23, but I don't count that because I thought I was fainting. So, <laughs> I don't think it counts if you think you're <clears throat> about to pass away. <laughs> Weird night. I remember a, a missionary, you know, of course. You don't get creative until you're 30, you know? <laughs> just like, ah, and the guy's like, and I was like, ah, is this the last place I'll ever see? <laughs> I'd say 26, though, you know, because it's more, it's kind of the more honest one. Every once in a while, a girl come up to me, she'd be like, oh yeah, me too. That means there's a lot of us out there. Enough, right? They come out to me and they're like, oh yeah. That means in this country, like, a woman won't have an orgasm sometimes until late 20s, early 30s. So she'll technically pay off her student loans before she ever comes for the first time. And then I go, oh my god, you guys, it's a joke. <laughs> You're never gonna pay off your student loans. <laughs> Comedy club? <laughs> it's different for guys, right? Guys, they come so young. So, so yeah, it's weird. It's honestly weird. For a guy, his first time, tell me I'm lying. Your story, right? A guy, you're 12. Ew. <laughs> you bump into a couch. It's like the who done it of puddles on the floor, right? Like, oh, fuck. Usually it's the couch. TV's there, you go see cartoons, right? Like, oh yeah, it's on that. Be a bullshit. You know what happened. Yeah, but you're happy about it, right? You go to school, you wish you could rat. You try to tell your friends you got a girlfriend, right? They don't believe you. Right? What's her name? You're like, uh, <clears throat> Sophia? <laughs> Man. I think that's why a lot of grandmas wrap their couches in plastic. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, man. 
me and my boyfriend have been together for almost a decade at this point. Uh, we are not gonna get married, um, but it is getting a little weird. <laughs> we're too lazy to go to the DMV or whatever you do to get married. <laughs> But you know, it is serious. So I guess we'll just start calling each other partner. He's my partner. That's what happens when you don't get married, okay? That's a lesson for all of you. If you don't get married, you become a gay couple. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love it, but just so you know. <laughs> I think it's cool. We're moving on in other ways. You know, he downloaded the uh, app on his phone that tracks my period. And we're doing that because we're trying to never have children. <laughs> Very difficult, very tricky, but we get it done. It's on his phone. People think it's weird. They're like, hey, you don't find it odd? You know, you're not weirded out that he's tracking your cycle? I'm like, no, this is the most healthcare I've had in years. <laughs> I'm down, dude. If I can get him to feel my tits for lumps, he becomes my primary care provider. I don't know, I've been thinking the kids think of because I started watching this Netflix show called Old Enough. Have you guys seen that show? Oh, oh my god. Dude, our period sink just now. It's, 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 like, it's like that kind of show, you know? This, right, this is the premise. Japanese parents, they take their two, three, three-year-olds, right? Out, they, they give them a list of shit to get. They send them out on errands alone. Alone, okay? They gotta carry a fuck a gigantic inflated banana just so cars don't run them over when they cross the street. It's so cute and suspenseful. It's crazy. They're just like, oh, you got the little set of my stuff. Like, oh, you got the little set of my stuff. Like, oh, you got the little set of my and then they run back home with what they have. And then that kid just had a, a, a fantasy adventure, right? Epic proportions, like Lord of the Teething Race, okay? It's <laughs> like they just went through. And, and so, I don't know, man. Because uh, I used to think having a kid was a slog, you know? Like, I know myself growing up, that's like, I want to do with some piece of shit for fucking, you know? So they can be productive, you know, and then, like, give back, right? But now it's like, I watched that show two, three years, I'm off for cigarettes, and return on investment right away. <laughs> Just treat your toddlers like one of those little automatic cars that do food deliveries. <laughs> Get something to them, that's bad, good. <laughs> But I don't know, I, I, I'm also skeptical because, you know, I would obviously have to have a Japanese kid for that to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think that would work with what I got going on, personally. I'm Dominican and Puerto Rican, my boyfriend's Russian, I don't know what that kid's going to be able to do. <laughs> Probably just like hack into the stock exchange and mess with the price of plantains. <laughs> Or just like design the first Adidas tracksuit for pro baseball. <laughs> just go around teaching brown bears despacito. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Check out one of those Japanese kids. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I, uh, I don't know, I'm to hear a joke or a story right now. Story! story. story. One, of the, one of the two things that you can't uh, really, I don't know, you help with your health, you know? Smoking's the hardest thing to quit, right? That's the hardest habit to kick. And it's because it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> That's the problem with smoking, it is the best. And I quit, but I did it because I, it was too expensive not because I wanted to, honestly. And the, the wake up call for me was like, one time I was in New York, I was running across this intersection, and uh, I get to the other side, I pat my pocket, what happened? I dropped my pack in the middle of the street. You see, you heard that right there? You heard what just happened? Whoa! Right? She was like, that's a quarter of your rampage, right? That's important. Cause that's how you feel, right? So I had like, my, my, I did that, I went, oh! And then, but I didn't want to go. I was afraid that I didn't want to get hit by a car. And, and, and because I didn't make that move, right? This entire intersection of people parked, these Puerto Ricans, okay, because I was in Spanish Harlem, they started yelling at me. They're like, hey, Ma, did you not see that you tried your pack on? Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was, that's surreal, okay? <laughs> what do you care, right? And if it didn't stop with that one lady, another guy would go, yo, yo, Ma, go pack. Right? They're like, me, that's 
very different for the Mexicans have the this musicality, ours is like, oh yeah, I don't want to get the pack. And then the guy like drives into the intersection. He's like, yo, I'm going to hold off the cars. <laughs> the rescue mission. <laughs> Alright? A rescue mission for the pack. They, the, New Yorkers wouldn't do that for a baby if it was on the intersection. You understand? If a baby fell out of my pocket in the intersection, they would be like, yo, I'm late for work, baby! You know? <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's Knight in shiny neck tattoo, right? He's like, he's like, I don't know where he comes up to me. He's like, don't worry, Ma, I got this, okay? And he just runs into the intersection. He picks up the pack, right? There's a whole rescue mission, so it's easy for him, okay? <laughs> he's just like, ah! And then he goes, and people are clapping for this guy. They're like, that's right, baby, that's how you do it here in New York! Right? That's right. <laughs> More ridiculous. And then he's like, so he waved at me, to me, he's like, yo, Ma, here you go. And I was blown away. I was like, nobody's ever done this shit for me before. I love this guy. He's like, yo, I just risked my life to save your pack of <laughs> And I was like, what do I say? <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, thank you so much. Oh my god. Do you want me to go out sometime? Oh my god. This guy just looks me dead in the eye and he goes, nah, can I buy one off of you? <laughs> Fucking quit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've been listening to you guys. Have a good night. Thanks.